Hello, dear traders. My name is Tim, and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with dollar index. The dollar index is trading at 104 points. The main data on business activity remains in the focus of investors' attention. The index in the services sector reached 53.8 points, while the composite indicator reached 54.5 points. Thus, the economy is recovering, despite the tight monetary policy of the US Federal Reserve, maintaining the risks of rising inflation and helping to keep the K rate at high levels. Today, traders will analyze data on the American labor market. The economy is expected to create 185,000 new jobs last month, up from 175,000 the month before. A strong labor market report could increase the likelihood that the Fed will delay rate cuts until the end of this year. Against this background, the dollar's growth is likely to continue. Next, EURUSD. The EURUSD pay is trading at 1.09. The European Central Bank has expected to cut the rate by 25 basis points. Experts believe that ECB will continue to ease monetary policy, but it is unclear when the next reduction in borrowing costs will occur, as officials are concerned about rising wages. During the press conference, ECB head Lagarde noted that the regulator will continue to follow an approach based on economic indicators, and the pace of rate haircuts will depend on progress in reducing inflation and economic growth. Currently, most investors expect that ECB to cut its K rate twice more this year, in September and December. Against this background, pressure on the euro may increase. And finally, oil. Oil is trading at $76 per barrel. The fundamental background uh, still remains on the side of sellers. Prices uh, will continue to be pressured by rising oil reserves in the United States, a reduction in the geopolitical risk uh, premium and OPEC plus rhetoric. It is worth noting the comments of OPEC Secretary uh, Alf Geis and uh, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak, who confirmed that uh, oil cartels partners could make changes uh, to production agreements uh, and uh, revise quotas. Today, pressure on oil may also come from a potential uh, rise in the dollar. So, these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.